Hello. Welcome to my channel. It's Meg. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna do a little things I've been loving, favorites, video. There's beauty products, fashion products, books, TikTokers I've been loving, getting inspo from, things like that. So if you're interested, keep on watching. I just filmed a video that's like clean, no makeup makeup. So if you're interested in that, go watch that. But I love how my face is looking. So I'm gonna start with like skincare, then move into beauty because it kind of is related. So first, <clears throat> glow recipe, watermelon glow niacinamide dew drops. I've seen these everywhere, people talking about it, and it's really good. It reminds me of, I used to use the Glossier Future Dew, and then I just like didn't rebuy it, but I think I like this one better. It looks really pretty like on its own or under makeup. I have it on today, but I have makeup over it, but it's just this, a really nice like base, and it's really pretty, dewy, glowy, amazing. <laughs> I like it um, just on days where I'm not wearing makeup too because you just kind of have that like glass skin look. It's really healthy and good. Yeah, I really like it. I got it in a boxy charm and we did with shit slabs. So, love that. And then the other skincare thing, which mine's empty. I need to go buy another one, but it's the sunscreen, Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration oil-free, weightless face, wreath-friendly, SPF 30. <laughs> um, yeah, it's amazing. I feel like I struggle with finding a sunscreen that just like isn't shit, but also isn't like a thousand dollars. This was like, I think like 10 bucks or something. And it leaves your skin just looking like dewy and nice. It doesn't leave a white cast. It isn't thick. I feel like your skin absorbs it. It's not just like a layer on top of your skin. And like you can use like makeup over it. It looks good. It's just, yeah, really good. Sunscreen, love it. It's amazing. Beautiful. Need to buy more. Makeup products. I haven't been wearing as much makeup recently, but when I have, this is what I've been using. First thing is this Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. Now I first got this also in a BoxyCharm. Not sponsored by BoxyCharm. I just get a lot of, like, I get it monthly so I have the products from it. Um, it's a concealer. So I used it as a concealer, like under my eyes. And I was horrified because this shit is like a highlighter. It's like a highlighter glowy situation. So I was like, okay, um, and now I just use it as so. I basically use it all over the face as a highlighter. I have it under, actually I didn't wear foundation today. I have it like over here, on my cheeks, on my jaw, on my chin, on my nose. I have it everywhere. I basically use it kind of as a base. So good and glowy and pretty. Yeah, love it. Don't use it as a regular concealer though. It's horrible as that. I put it under my eyes and I was like, like it was just a glowy nightmare. And then we have this a Natasha Denona Cupid eyeshadow palette. It's on sale right now. I like because I like looked it up. It's on sale right now if you're interested. But it's like this cool toned, like mauvey cranberry situation and I don't that's not usually my vibe but this is my vibe I'm into like more cool tones I don't know if it's, it's like cold all the fucking time but I'm just like into I'm just into it and it's so pretty like if I want to do just like kind of nothing on the eye these two shades like these two like neutral shades are great 
and then if I want to do like just like smudgy like shadow eyeliner this is perfect and if I want to like dress it up and be kind of fun like this with this shimmer is amazing or if I want to be fun and do like a cranberry dark like liner eyeshadow I've done that with this so good I feel like there's only five shades but I can do a lot with it and I love that and it's small if I want to bring it with me so easy so I recommend they're expensive I would just say get it on sale if you can I don't know I don't think I'd buy it if it was full price but on sale I love it and that's my favorite eyeshadow palette right now and then my favorite contour I've been looking for a cool toned contour shade why is that so difficult I feel like contour should be cool toned but then oh my god my foot is cramping but I feel like when I was looking everywhere I couldn't find a good one this one is from NYX sweet cheeks matte creamy powder blush it's called but it's like this perfect super cool toned shade it's just amazing I take a little bit of it on a tiny little brush cheekbones under the lip usually in my eyes like I have it just in my eye socket and underneath my eye today just kind of was like a basic little contour so pretty and perfect and it's from NYX affordable amazing and last for makeup is this Olimar cosmetics lip gloss and shade we have birthday suit it's so pretty comfortable smells amazing lasts a while is like shimmery amazing i don't have it on right now but let's put it on i have a different like lip gloss on but let's add a little bit of this and it smells so good it smells like kind of like vanilla cake or something and it's just such a good like your lip color but better the shimmer is amazing it smells amazing I just love it, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, now for like clothing. I, I'll start with jackets. It's, I live in Southern California. It doesn't really get cold here. And today it's 55. That is freezing for me. Like I'm outside in a puffer, a beanie, my Uggs, like literally everything. <laughs> Why is it so cold? Okay, whatever, but I'm not used to it. But when it is cold, finally, I can wear my cute jackets. So my first fave is what I'm wearing right now. I love this jacket. I've had it for years. I got it at the mall when I was like in high school, I think. Um, but I love it so much. It's like not super long, but it's like a suede like Sherpa on the inside so cute it gives me like the penny lane coat vibe but like more wearable for me at least because like where I am and it's like I'm not gonna be wearing a big like coat like that but this one's like perfect for me it's got pockets it's so cute and comfy and I love it mm, I love it and like this part if I'm freezing bundle up amazing so good it's like one of my favorite jackets ever and my second coat that i love my dog's kind of laying on it i'll just show you in the because she looks really cute and comfortable i'll show you in like the try on or whatever so cute i thrifted this jacket i've wanted like a varsity style like jacket for a while but i didn't want to like buy one from a store i've been trying to only sh like shop secondhand um like at thrift stores or online like ebay poshmark kpop whatever and so when you're trying to look for something specific it can be a little harder so i've just been patiently waiting for like two years <laughs> i didn't want to buy one that was like too loud or whatever i want it to be kind of neutral to kind of be able to go with everything and I was thrifting, this is like a couple months ago. I'm thrifting, I went through the whole store, and I'm on my way to check out. 
and I fucking see it across the room. And I was like, I didn't go through the men's jackets and I fucking see it just like the shoulder. I see that it's like a varsity style jacket. Pick it up, examine it for two seconds and just buy it. It was perfect. It's from H&M and a brand called No Fear, which I looked up as like a, just a skate, like streetwear brand. And they did a collab. I love this jacket so much. I love it so much. The only downside is it gets covered in dog hair. Like my dog's laying on it right now. But who cares? It's perfect. I love it. It's like got that slouchy, comfy vibe and it goes with everything. I feel like I can dress it up. I can dress it down. It's cute. I'm obsessed. That's all I got to say. Um, and then I have accessories. Like I said, it's been freezing here for me. It's freezing. And I've been wearing a lot of beanies and I want to show off this beanie. It's so cute. I got it as a gift. So I don't know where it's from. I think it's handmade. Look how cute she is. It's just perfect. It's perfect. It's kind of got like that like, it has like these fuzzies like coming off it. It's just like the perfect beanie. It's so cute. Like it looks so cute with my jacket right now. I love a good beanie. I have some other ones that I've been wearing, just like like a bright pink one, black one. I want to get a brown one. So I'll keep my eye out for that. But it's perfect. So cute. I love just like a fun little hat to pop on. My second hat that I'm gonna show you is this one. I love this one. It's from Goren Bros. I don't know. I thrifted it. It's my, I think my favorite hat ever. It's so perfect. It keeps you warm. It's like almost bucket hat style, but not really. It's amazing. I've seen Rihanna in a similar style hat and I'd already thrifted this and then I saw her in it and I was like, cause you know if Rihanna's wearing it, it's good. I love this hat. I love this hat. Oh my God. And it's like kind of big. You put it on and you're like, you're that girl. Like, it's just so perfect. It's so perfect. Also, scarves. I've never been a scarf girl. And usually it's too cold to even like, or I mean, it's too warm here to even think about a scarf. But it's been cold. And I dug through my things and I found this. And I remember this. This is from when I was a kid. This is my scarf when I was a kid. It's from Gap Kids. I love this. One, it's just like practical. Keeps you warm. Right? It's fabulous. But it's so cute. Are you kidding me with the rainbow? I've seen everybody wearing like black and white striped scarves. They look, they look really cute. I'm here for it. But my rainbow one. I've seen some really good ones at the thrift store, so if you want one, just go check it out or learn how to knit or ask your grandma how to knit. I wanna learn how to knit, but I feel like I'll start and then just like give up halfway through, so I don't know. But I love this scarf so much. Also, wearing a tie, this isn't like for being cold, this is more just being cute. Wearing a tie as an accessory in all sorts of ways. One, just like around your neck is fabulous like this, so fucking cute. I love this tie so much. This tie, it's my husband's, I got it for him, <laughs> but I wear it more than he does. It's a 100% silk Tom Ford, like a burnt orange scarf that I got at the thrift store. It's amazing. I love it so much. So steal a scarf from like your dad, your boyfriend, your husband, your brother, whoever, or just find one at the thrift store that's fun. I want to get just like a solid black one too, but yeah, around the neck is so cute. The other day I wore it with my cute little orange beanie. I wore it as like a belt with a skirt, like I tied it on the side. So fucking cute. Versatile. If you want to take like a, maybe an outfit that's like a little boring, throw like this outfit. It's cute. Throw this around the neck and made it way cuter. So scarves, baby ties as scarves. I don't really like it as much if you like 
tie it as the tie. Yeah, there's a button. I don't like it as much as like actually a tie, but I love like around the neck how I had it as a belt. Um, maybe I'll play around with it, find another way, but it's just so good, so good. And I'm keeping my eye out at the thrift for like a skinnier black one. I think that'd be so cute. Next, we got shoes. Two, one, I'll start with easy one. Or not easy, but like simple. I got house slippers. I've never been a house slipper girly, but it's been freezing and my dog's not doing great and she's been throwing up kind of a lot. And like I have carpet and it's like I'm cleaning it, but it just feels gross. I don't know if you can relate. Like I'm cleaning it, but it just feels gross to walk around. I don't know. So I've been wearing house slippers. I love these. I got them from Walmart. And after I got them, I'm wearing around the house and I see a TikTok of some lady shopping at Walmart being like, look how ugly these are and showing these. But I think they're so cute and just like fun. I don't know. I mean, if you're a house slipper girl, but it's just like comfy. The only downside is my dog likes to, thinks they're toys. And it'll just like bite my foot, which is like not ideal, but like I feel her, it looks kind of like a toy. And the second one, I would, if you would have asked me like a year ago, I would have been like, are you fucking kidding me? No, I wouldn't want those. <laughs> but one thing about me is if I'm a hater about something, give it a little bit of time, I am gonna love that thing. I used to hate the color orange with a passion. Like anytime I would see orange, I hated it. No, I fucking love orange. I have orange sneakers, I have that orange beanie, I have orange clothes, like I love orange. And I used to hate ballet flats. Hate them with a passion. It's like, why would anybody wear those? They're disgusting. Oh, there's a fuzzy in there. Fucking buys ballet flats. I think they're cute. I was looking at the ones on Target online and I didn't want to buy them from Target, um, but they were only like 20 bucks. And then I went on Poshmark. I found these and they're, um, they were brand new from the lady. She was like, I bought them and never wore them. And they're leather, they have the cute little bow. I wanted one with like a little square toe. I didn't like the round toe. And I wanted the bow. And they're perfect. I love them so much. Ah. The only thing I want is I want to get like more fun socks and wear, like if I had like pink polka dot socks or like yellow striped socks with these. So fucking cute. But yeah, I love them. I love being a hater, and then I love loving it later. I think it's so fun. <laughs> I wonder what the next thing that I'm like I hate that I'm gonna love soon is gonna be. Cause I don't really actively like hate something right now. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> um, next, and I have it's I guess like home decor, random, etc. My Hello Kitty build -a bear Are you kidding? It's the 25th celebration collection. She's fabulous. I saw a TikTok that was like, hey girlies, hey like Hello Kitty girlies. The build -a bear Hello Kitty, whatever the fuck is coming out soon. So I like joined the wait list. <laughs> and the second it, like, she was came out, I ordered it online. Isn't she so cute? I didn't buy any clothes from the build -Aware website. I went on Facebook Marketplace and just bought this like girl was selling a bundle. It had like this and like two other outfits. And I was like, I'm buying it from you. You're so cute. And it was like 10 bucks. So I recommend that if you're like me and bought her. She has this little cheer outfit on. She's so cute. And she's way bigger than I thought. Maybe I just haven't had a build -Aware in a long time, but she's huge. <laughs> and I love her so much. She's fabulous. I kind of like when I'm gaming, I've been gaming on Twitch. Follow me, Damn Jackie. I'll just have her on my desk with me. Just like her good vibes are just there, you know? <laughs> I love her so much. Um, my next thing is this little, I bought a pack of them at Goodwill. I found a pack of them. Disco balls. 
so cute. You can buy them online, I'm sure. I've seen them at Five Below before, but I found them at Goodwill. They're like Christmas tree ornaments. I think I got a five pack of them. They're kind of scattered around my house. They're so cute. I've like seen people online with them and I didn't want to buy them from just like the store or whatever. And then I saw them at Goodwill and I was like, okay, bitch. I love them. I have a couple um, hanging on my plants in the living room. I don't really know what to do with the rest of them, but I love them. And just like, it's sitting here is cute. I think I have a stack of books on my other little table over here. I think maybe just like two on there would be cute. But I love them. And next, I just said books. I have two books. I've been a, kind of a reader. Crazy. I never have liked reading. I think it was just because like in school they tell you to read and I was like, you're telling me to do something? I'm not gonna fucking do it. Um, like if I had a book report, didn't read it. Just like winged it, I don't know. Um, I also like didn't really, I went to school but I did independent study for like my last two years of high school and that was like, like I loved it, but I didn't learn anything. I like barely did any work, it was, so I like, <laughs> I never read, whatever. I started reading, crazy. Um, so my husband said he read this in high school. Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. And he was like, you should read that bitch. You would like it. So I got on Thrift Books. I recommend Thrift Books. Secondhand book website. They have great prices. Yeah. Um, I really liked it. I'm starting off with books that are like smaller because they're less intimidating. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. This guy's a fireman. This is like in the future. This guy's a fireman, but the fireman's job is like to burn things instead of put things out. <laughs> I think me explaining this sounds so stupid. But yeah, his job is to burn books. He's like, books are bad. The man is like, books are bad. So he burns them and then he meets this little, like not little girl, but this girl who's like, have you ever thought about like thinking for yourself? And then she like disappears and he's like, oh my God, I can think for myself. That's crazy. So then he starts like reading the books, which is like against the law. <gasps> crazy, but it's really, it's really good. My uh, synopsis was like horrible, but um, I really liked it. It's a good read. Also this one, The Outsiders. I think like this is also like, I'm reading like teen books. I'm starting out here. Maybe we'll get up there, but whatever. Yeah, I really liked this. Also, I thought it was funny, because, um, where'd it go? Caitlin Kosher had this before me. I got it at Savers. Savers usually has a good book selection, and it's like if you buy three, get the fourth one for free. So check out Savers, too. That's where I got this one. But I really liked it. I started reading it, and I was like, what the fuck am I reading? It's about, like, a group of kids, greasers. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. And I almost stopped reading, but then I kept reading. And, um, cause they kept like going, the um, author kept going into detail about all these characters. And like, most of them seemed unimportant. And like, most of them kind of are, but like, you're like, okay, whatever. Um, but then like shit goes down, someone dies, and you're like, it gets interesting. I like it. It's basically like the greasers. First, like the preppy kids and like whatever and they fight and they tussle and it's crazy so <laughs> i like it i like it a lot i um wanted to talk about my favorite show right now tell me lies it's so good ah so good the sex scenes are like almost too much like in my living room we have like a big tv and it like faces like out the window. So like our neighbors, like when they walk by, they see our TV, not a big deal. And I usually have like the door open, the windows open for my dogs. So I'm like watching this show and I feel like I have to like close the door, close the windows. Cause like these sex scenes are crazy. Um, but the drama to die for, it's so good. The last episode, 
Are you kidding? Who he ends up being like my fiance. Are you kidding? And Lucy's just like, mm -hmm, like playing nice with him. Like, why are you even talking to him? Like, why are you even entertaining him? It makes no sense to me, but I love it. I fucking eat it up. It's so good. Also, I think I might read the book. It's based off a book and my friend bought it and she's like, hey, I'm reading it. Wanna read it after me? I think I might have to because the drama is so good. I love a good like shit stirring moment. It kind of reminds me of like Pretty Little Liars. Why was I? Why did I not know what it was for a second? I used to love that show. Um, and like not with like what happens, but just the amount of drama and like twisty turns. I'm like, damn. I fucking love it. Like that show had me on the edge of my seat. On the edge of my seat. Lastly, I wanted to um, post or share the TikTok accounts that I really like and find kind of like, like style inspiration from that are really cool. Let me fix this. Oh, hi Peach. There's a fly right above the camera. Oh. Can you get up? So I'm editing this video and apparently when Peach was getting the fly and the camera knocked over, I didn't record the part where I talked about the TikTok people that I like. So I'm just gonna mention them real quick because I do really like them and where the fuck is it? Okay, the first one was up. Uh, was Leyland Russo. I've been following her for a while, but recently she just cut her hair and it looks so cute that, you know, I want to cut my hair like that. But she just has really good style, really good kind of vibe, cool girl. Love it. Love to see it. Second person. The user is Dev Umans. She is just like fabulous. And I feel like she's just like a great person. You know, when you just get that vibe. She like lives by the beach and like goes and gets matcha and like goes to the beach and it's just like wears cute outfits. And I just like think she's cool. Okay, that's all. <laughs> And the last one is Mo Black. Oh my God. Um, amazing style. Such good outfits. She was um, Amy Dunn from Gone Girl for Halloween with like, like cute, like sexy, but like blood everywhere. Iconic. Great outfits, great makeup, great attitude, funny, just, she's got it all. I just want to say thank you for watching. We love you. We appreciate you. And we hope you have an amazing day. And if you like video games, you should watch me on Twitch. <laughs> Damn Jackie. And yeah. Have a great time. Bye.